Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Last time we looked at the simulated uh, teletype connected to an uh, Intellect 4 mod 40 system. Uh, today uh, we are going to look a bit at how this particular simulation is uh, implemented in Java. So let's go ahead and uh, look at the code. Uh, we have the uh, teletype class which uh, actually extends an abstract serial device and uh, we'll look at this one first. Uh, this one is a generic data device. In an earlier video I uh, described uh, these classes, this interface. Uh, so what it does, it implements a configure method that allows configuration from the simulation JSON. Uh, and uh, it implements a read and write uh, method. And uh, from the read and write method, uh, it allows um, uh, communication with uh, a class that implements uh, this uh, control and data and uh, the transmit uh, data. Uh, what's the difference here? Uh, it's assumed that uh, a device may have, it's not necessarily to have, but it may have and it usually has, uh, a control port uh, which uh, allows uh, configuration from a computer or at least uh, reading some some status formation and it also has a data port uh, which is used to actually uh, transfer the data uh, for example the teletype uh, may use the control port to indicate if uh, there is additional uh, data available to be read from the computer uh, or uh, it uh, may use this control port to uh, automatically start the paper tape uh, reader. Uh, so uh, what configuration is available? Uh, I mentioned previously that uh, the initial uh, teletype models uh, used the uh, current loop and uh, there was no uh, UART so uh, the communication was uh, done bit by bit. Uh, however, later models uh, also uh, implemented uh, an uh, UART. So in this case it's possible to configure uh, from the JSON configuration file uh, if uh, the device is simulated uh, with an UART or not. Uh, also, because of the current loop, um, you usually uh, had to negate uh, the bytes uh, when uh, they are sent. So, uh, again, this is a default configuration. If uh, there is no UART, uh, if the UART is set to zero, then uh, by default uh, it's assumed the current loop. So. Uh, the bits will be negated, but it's possible to turn this off if uh, you want to simulate uh, something else. Uh, also, the uh, actual codes uh, can be mapped uh, because in uh, some cases there may be uh, an additional uh, bit that should be ignored or maybe set. Uh, it's also possible uh, to ignore uh, the last uh, bit, so bit 7, but uh, remember bits are usually numbered starting with 0, so it's the 8 bit. Uh, and uh, this was uh, used to indicate the uh, end of uh, transmission for a single uh, byte. So it's possible to activate this option to ignore uh, bit uh, number seven uh, or uh, as I said you can use uh, the map and define a mapping uh, of the received codes uh, which will be taken into consideration at uh, receive time. Uh, then we have uh, the usual read and write methods. 
So the read address, uh, the read method checks the address. If it's uh, the first address, then it's the data port. So it uh, performs the read operation, uh, taking into account the different configurations, uh, making sure if uh, there's an award, then uh, there is uh, an entire byte uh, sent. Uh, otherwise, uh, a single bit will be sent. And in the configuration, it's uh, possible to uh, say on uh, what uh, position uh, this uh, bit should be uh, sent. Uh, then, uh, if uh, uh, we have the right method, this is used when uh, the computer sends something uh, to the teletype. Uh, and uh, again, it uh, implements uh, either receiving via word or uh, re receiving uh, bit by bit. It also uh, handles uh, start, uh, then uh, the bits, the data bits, and then uh, stop signal. And uh, following this, uh, it will uh, call. Um, either uh, write data if uh, there is data received, uh, write control if it's something for the control port, uh, and the read method uh, inquires about uh, data that uh, may be available or not. So now if we look at the actual uh, class that implements the teletype simulation, uh, again, it uses uh, an image uh, that is an actual uh, photo of the teletype. Uh, and um, uh, this is loaded. Uh, this is uh, used as a background for uh, drawing uh, the load uh, button, which may be used to load a uh, hex file into the paper, into the paper tape. Uh, actually, it can be any file, but usually you will want to use this to load uh, programs stored as a hex file. Uh, then uh, uh, we have here a key listener. This allows uh, using your own keyboard to send uh, data. So instead of pressing with the mouse, you use your own keyboard. Uh, it also checks for uh, valid uh, keys, so only uh, the keys that were available on the teletype may actually be sent, uh, so other signs uh, or letters cannot be sent. Um, uh, we have here the paint method, uh, as I already said uses uh, the image and on top of the image it will uh, draw the text and uh, the load button if it is enabled. The load button may be disabled from the JSON configuration. Uh, it also has uh, some additional uh, configuration uh, such as this uh, load uh, button that may be shown. Uh, we also have the load tape function, which actually reads the file, uh, either the selected file or a predefined file, uh, which may be uh, set in the configuration JSON. And we have uh, finally the methods that are being called from the abstract class that I showed you before. And, uh, for example, the write data uh, is called when uh, the computer sends data to the teletype. Again, it checks if it's uh, something that uh, is known to the teletype. Uh, if the computer tries to send something else, it will be ignored. Uh, we also have the control uh, here. Uh, and uh, it's possible for the computer to send two signals, uh, this TTE go or teletype 
no and uh, this will uh, activate the tape reader and also deactivate it at the end uh, and uh, finally uh, allows uh, the abstract serial device class uh, to retrieve uh, data to be transmitted and again this may be uh, either data that was uh, entered by the user the keyboard or data that was uh, retrieved uh, from the paper tape reader so uh, this covers this uh, uh, basic simulation i will uh, just start it again uh, remember you may uh, resize uh, this these uh, windows uh, and you can uh, make it as large or as small as you want and then you can uh, interact uh, using your keyboard I will uh, just type a serial command and you can watch uh, the characters being sent uh, by the simulation also in the simulation configuration you may change the speed of the simulation and it's possible to make uh, this uh, either display uh, very fast or uh, slower so you can actually watch each character being printed okay so thank you for watching and see you next time bye